What is up guys, it's Kuju Forest, aka GBP Emperor, aka Emperor of Blues, you know the vibes. I'm currently in Kuala Lumpur, I'm sure you might have known that already. If you don't, then now uh, you know. Well, in today's video it's titled, How I Killed 17,000 US Dollars from One Trade. Right, it's actually a trade that I've been following before I even got to Kuala Lumpur. If you do not know it, I got to this place about a week ago, yeah? And then prior to getting to this place, I was really watching the market. I kind of did take some couple of trades before I actually got here. I took some trades on gold, some Nasdaq trades, and then when I got here, I had my eyes fixated on GBP, JPY, because I kind of saw it on the chart that it had been overly extended. You guys know that I'm a king of catching reversal entry, sniper entry at the very top or at the very bottom of the market, right? So I'm going to show you guys practically how I was able to dissect the market and catch this move. Not only did I benefit from it, but I shared it to the community members for free. We have about 33,600 freaking people in the trading community and I sent it out and I told them that, look guys, I have so much confidence in this trade, you can freaking stack. And I had a lot of people actually making tons of money from this trade setup and it really got me excited. I got my own share, 17,000, plus the community members also getting their freaking share. So if you're not really part of the community, you're missing out. Click in the link in the description to join the Kujo Forest Telegram community, 33,600, and then benefit from this. Also, I shared it on Instagram as well, right? So for people that are reluctant to join my Telegram community, I then I posted it out on my Instagram story that, look guys, I'm shorting GBP, JP. So if you're not jumping on that with me, you might as well just do that. So you want to follow me on Instagram at KO. G -O -F -R -E -X, and then you know be constantly watching my Instagram stories and then keep your post notifications on so you don't miss any trade setup that comes from me. Without wasting much time, I have my tablet here. I'm gonna show you guys the setup that I took from GBP JPY and how I literally just profited from it, right? It's pretty much a very simple setup, right? Practically one that I intended to swing trade, miss the move, and then now converted a swing trade into day trade which made beautiful 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 trade right so yeah can you come close so that i show you so this is gbp jpy as you're seeing it right and this is the hourly time frame but before i leave the hourly time frame let's first look at how it was behaving on the four hour time frame so what you're watching now is gbp jpy from the four hour time frame and then you can clearly see from here that we have a resistance set up here and then the market literally traded all the way down make a swing low swing high swing low consolidated for a while and then traded all the way back up to this resistance point this is exactly where i started sharing to the community members and then holding instagram live and prompting people that look guys we have gbp jpy literally sitting a very key interesting area and then we might as well just take massive advantage from this by shorting this market but got to first look at how the market reacts around this place i had so many people coming with different opinions looking at the fact that they were telling me could you have you watched the weekly time frame we might as well be breaking these highs by then the weekly time frame was so full much of a candle and then almost looking as if it was breaking this ring but i told them look technical analysis just as the name suggests is using historical price movement to anticipate future price movement and you can see here that when the market got here it literally dripped all the way and then lost value and then closed like a shooting star similar thing can happen here right so anybody that was on instagram live you probably still remember what i said about it and then lo and behold is exactly what we see but this was exactly where i was supposed to catch that setup right when we're still in that resistance area this fair value area here right then I was supposed to catch the sell from this region, but I actually missed out on catching the sell and the market dropped, right? So I missed this initial sell move here that you can see, right? But guess what? Remember, I've been telling you guys that I'm practicing and then back testing a very serious day trading strategy. So I actually decided and intended to enter this move with that day trading strategy. And that day trading strategy is actually one of the videos that I've shot for you guys just in my previous video, which is how to trade the landing session like a pro. It actually spells out detail in that day trading strategy. So if you haven't watched it, just go back to the video and watch that landing trading strategy, right? So here you want to go to the one hour time frame. When I go to the one hour, you're going to see something interesting. The interesting thing that you're going to see is the fact that i was supposed to have jumped in on this trade around this area right here right so let me use the drawing tool so you get it so i was supposed to jump in on this trade around this area right here and i missed it and then this move just right away dropped right this one made close to um how many pips if i'm not wrong about um almost 200 pips right which was very impressive right very huge pip potential on this trade let's say 170 
pips on this one, right? So I literally miss out on catching this move. Nonetheless, I know that for the most part, with experience, if you've been trading the market for a long time, you don't get a huge move like this, literally retracing all the way, just abruptly like that. When I say abruptly, like just as he had just gone up this way, then all of a sudden it just comes down that way like that. The market hardly does that. What you usually find is that it goes up, consolidates a bit, or pulls back and make a lower high before it continues to make a lower low. So I knew that even though I'd missed that move, the market was likely to come back all the way up and give me like another entry region, which was exactly what it did. So you saw that the market came down, consolidated a bit, gave some reversal patterns. People are going to jump in here for a buy, no problem. But as far as you know, the overall direction of the market, you're not going to be so enticed with jumping in on this buy. So I waited, yeah? And when I waited, what did we see happen? The market consolidated the yeah, reversal patterns and then went back to hit that resistance area. Something that entices me to want to jump in on this market. And then what do we see? We saw this very beautiful reversal patterns. I've taught you again with this reversal pattern in my candlestick reversal strategy if you haven't watched that also that is also on my youtube where i talk about the candlestick pattern that will change your life and this particular one is tweezer top right remember the tweezer top from the, that video here yeah, if you don't remember then go back and watch that video as well so i saw that tweezer which gave me a clear indication that pound japanesian is going to be literally weak for the next couple of days and then lo and behold this region right here this particular line tells us the transition from Thursday, right? This is Thursday. And then this one is Friday, right? So this transition, this line here tells us where market closed on Thursday and then open on Friday. So here was the Asian session. So during the Asian session, market was consolidating. And then just when we had this bearish candle right here, signifying that the bears are coming in on the market. This is exactly where I started shorting this market, putting my stop loss a few pips above the range and then holding this trade throughout Asian session, London session, and New York session. And this is exactly what made me accumulate all those huge pips that the trading community members also made insane money from. So you can understand the whole strategy being that we catch the overall direction lower down into lower time frame and then execute insanely right so let me show you guys some of the screenshots from the people that actually made a whole lot of money so here are them so many so many so many people selling pound japanesian as you can see pound japanesian pound japanesian pound japanesian pound japanesian everybody making insane insane money remember i dropped this trade into the community for free let me show you guys what i dropped the trade i told them sell gbp jp will entry this stop losses i didn't put the take profit yet then i came back to update them that we're stacking on this put your take profit now at 160.00 and 165.00 and then i told them look we're stacking on this sleep is for the weak and the poor because the trade i sent it out in the asian session because i'm in malaysia but then it was around 11 pm if you're from sub-saharan Africa so that people do not miss out on this trade, right? So I told them you can day trade this, scalp it, swing trade it, however you want it. And I started stacking on this myself, right? So you can see my positions here, hugely stacked, stacked up trade and then hugely stacked that trade, started running beautifully $10,000 profit and eventually closing at just around 17,000. This was the last screenshot I sent to the community for 15,000, but in my own closing trading account, then it was a 17,000 profit. So you can see here how people also profited. Somebody made 1,500 rand, somebody made $10,000 as well, $5,000. I had people really killing it, right? Look at this video right here from one of my mentees. He took it, he was floating in $2,000 profit. It's a real account, Xness. He uses that 11,000 capital. And you can see the same entry as mine, right? So that should motivate you and tell you how we keep killing it. And basically, hopefully, you're just inspired to understand how I catch this market consistently and keep killing it, right? So if you're inspired, make sure to click in the link in the description, number one, to join the Kojifara Telegram community. You want to connect with me on Instagram as well, like I've said, K O G U F O R E X. And then TikTok the same way, could you Forex, Snapchat, Twitter, everywhere is just K-O-G-O-F-O-R-E-X. Make sure to smash the like button, destroy that like button if you freaking love this video. And then make sure to subscribe to this channel. We're heading towards the 100k subscriber mark. I told you guys that 100k before the year ends. Without wasting much time, let me just give you a little bit of insight about my activity for yesterday as well. Yesterday, I ended up spending a whole lot of money on these books. I held an Instagram live video talking about the books. So I'm sure most of you have an idea about all these books. But the ones that kind of caught my attention then gave me so much joy in purchasing was more of the one that had, you know, trading related. Like we have this hedge fund market books. We have trading in the zone, which is psychological book. And then we have technical analysis of stock trend. 
also sitting somewhere around here, right? All these are, and then we have reminiscence of a stock operator, which is also um, a very important book for any trader to read. I also bought Japanese candlestick Bible book, right? Which was a guy that introduced candlestick to the to the Western world. And I also bought chart pattern analysis, right? Now all these books, I mean, I am a very affluent trader. I know what I'm doing on the market. I've been profitable for the past four, five years. I've been trading this market for the past 10 years, actually. I just like to read and I refresh my mind. It's just always refreshing to know that you're reminding yourself of the things that you know already. That's why I don't mind spending money on acquiring these kind of books. Even though I've read most of them, listened to most audiobooks on them, but it's always priceless to have the hard copy of any book, right? Because then if you're traveling, you can just take your book and read. You can, you know, mark it out with all. I mean, I know sometimes you can do that on all this software that allows you to listen to books, audiobooks, and then PDA book. But nothing is priceless that having a hard paper book for yourself and knowing that this is my property right perhaps you may call me an old school guy but yeah i did spend a whole lot of money on this let me show you guys the price class of it right this is literally the whole list it's not a super bed it's not a sporting bed slip it's actually the the cost of the book now if you're from kuala Lumpur, if you don't know um malaysian spend the ringgits right so it cost me three thousand hundred and twenty three ringgits which is equivalent to 6,000 Ghana cities, right? I don't know, perhaps about $800, and then I think 315,000 Naira. I mean, you can do the other conversions for yourself, but this is the whole cost of the books, about 33 books that I bought. That is also to inspire you that if you're a trader, no matter how affluent you become, make money, don't stop going back to the things that made you who you are, which is the books you're gonna be reading, the videos you're gonna be watching, and the PDFs you're gonna be reading. So without wasting much time, I hope you got inspired love you guys make sure to subscribe to this channel and then all the way from kuala lampa i say peace out